we have it totally under control. One person coming in from China. We think we have it very well under control. We pretty much shut it down coming in from China. You know, in April, supposedly, it dies with the hotter weather. When it gets warm, uh, historically, that has been able to kill the virus. The people are getting better. They're all getting better. And the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. And you'll be fine. Uh, they're going to have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. Not only the vaccines, but the therapies. Therapies is sort of another word for cure. You're talking about very small numbers in the United States. Our numbers are lower than just about anybody. It's really working out. And a lot of good things are going to happen. And we are responding with great speed and professionalism. It's going to go away. Yeah. No, I don't take responsibility at all. We're going to all be great. We're going to be so good. This came up. It, it we came up so suddenly. This is a pandemic. I felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic. All you had to do is look at other countries. The coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. And this is their new hoax. We're 15 people in this massive country. And because of the fact that we went early, we went early. We could have had a lot more than that. We're doing great. Our country is doing so great. This is yet another attempt to impeach the president. And sadly, it seems they care very little for any of the destruction they are leaving in their wake. We must test for the virus in order to stop the spread of it. What could be a very great recession? Some predicting even a depression. At worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. We don't have immunity to this virus. It's a new virus. It's a pandemic strain of a virus we haven't seen before. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. Without a vaccine, the flu would be far more deadly. We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus that is moving across the world from one hotspot to another. We're going to call out anyone and everyone who's using this virus as a political weapon against the president. The standard flu every single year kills tens of thousands of Americans. We are now entering what will be the crucial defining 15-day period as it, as it relates to this virus, where we must slow the spread of coronavirus. It's actually the safest time to fly. Everyone I know that's flying right now, terminals are pretty much dead. We have a responsibility to slow down this virus and to think of other people during this time. And so if you can keep your distance and prevent someone from getting close to you that might be sick, you could save yeah. your family, you can save the elderly and help our country as a nation. It is absolutely disgusting that Democrats are seeking to use this complex virus to score cheap political points. This dangerous health crisis could dovetail quickly into a political crisis, already feeling economic ramifications of it all. 